Now, actually, this is a little bit different, and I'm going to start with talking about the preview for the next episode. So Goku's trying, Goku's trying to get stronger, and he finally, he wants to train with Krillin. Everybody else is too busy, he wants to train with Krillin. It was really heartwarming for me to see them two back together again training. It really was. It was, it was for real. I didn't expect to feel, I was like, wow. I was like, it, it made me remember, like, they ain't trained together in, in forever. You know what I'm saying? So, best friends back together again, training. Hopefully, Krillin will uh, reach another plateau. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, because you train with the best, you know, you usually become the best you are because how, how good they are. So, anyway, this episode was really a throwaway episode to me. I just, just really didn't care for it. I didn't care for the animation. You know, a few parts made me laugh. Um, but basically, I mean, it's continuing of the last episode, the alien, you know, Jack goes after him and ends up finding the, uh, the superstar Barry Khan, who's trying to frame Gohan Having Lady Coco or whatever her name is kiss him on a rooftop. Y'all all, all saw it. it. It just, it did. And do not for me. What surprised me though was how Videl didn't give a fuck. Was how she didn't believe him right away. And I was like, wow. Yeah, she put this snake in his place. So when the thing got a hold of him, I was like, damn, he got the right one, didn't he? He definitely wants to fight Gohan. So uh, he first knocked Gohan out when he took him through the wall. I was like, really? Really going on, but whatever. No, nothing has been told or told us how strong this thing is anyway, so I'll just let that slide. But um, I like how the news crew, uh, not the news crew, the movie crew was actually shooting it like it was part of the movie. Um, <laughs> and then he became the super great Sayo Man. I don't know, man. It was okay. I could never watch it again and I'd be totally fine. That villain was a throwaway villain. It was just, uh, I don't give a damn about this episode. So that's pretty much my review, y'all. I loved the preview for next week. I can't wait to see that one. And this was a throwaway episode with a couple of funny parts. Nothing that made me say, oh, that was off the chain. That was hot. You know. But anyway, so uh, post your comments down below if there's anything you missed, anything you thought was good or a point that I didn't talk about, talk about in the comment section, okay? You enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, you can kiss my black derriere. That's French for ass, I believe. And if it ain't French for ass, it's something for ass. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.